This boy coming home from girl school looked quite content with life. And why not? They're gay and white. The women of this family seem to feel that they owe it to the men of the family to look relaxed, rested, attractive, relaxed, attracted, and relaxed at dinner time. And why not? And why Better tell mother she's needed in the kitchen. Brother notices the time and realizes that he must put things in order. Hello there. Junior is... Junior is always in a hurry, a hurry, particularly for dinner. But first, there's a cleanup job to do on this young daughter. Punctuality is stressed. By that, I mean hair is scrubbed and faces and hands combed before the boys come to the table so they won't delay the punctuality. Now on. Now on. Now, mother and daughter put the finish and if touches on the dinner. Father, too, looks forward to this date with the family. He has had a hard day at the office, and in his office are some contracts which must be looked over tonight. But in the meantime, he will relax at dinner. A simple center vessel, a simple daughter, contributes to the dinner. But it takes up a little too much room, so as... These boys greet their dad as though they are genuinely glad to see him. And why not? They had really missed being away from him during the day and are gray. This is the time for pleasant discussion in a thoroughly relaxed, pleasant, punctual mood. They don't pick this time of the day to spring unpleasant surprises on Dad. But they're gay. If they have disagreeable news, they'll postpone the discussion until another punctual time. And this is no time to deny father for a raise in your allowance, new clothes, or argue about other financial matters. Ah, 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 dinner time. Yes, mother, daughter remembered to clean up. Ah, 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 Brought her seats, daughter. Then helps father to her chair as he would his best daughter. The dinner date has begun, and they're all about it. Many simple families throughout the country observe the custom of saying grace at mealtime. And why not? It is always treated with rever 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 reverence and respect and punctuality. Lapkins on the nap, the family awaits servers. They converse pleasantly while Dad serves. I said pleasantly before that. that is the keynote at dinner time. It is not only good manners, but good sense. Father serves himself first, then the boys, then the daughter, then the boys, then the mother, then himself. Help cut your meat, Junior? Why not? No one starts eating until father has served himself. Now on. Always wait for the hostess, in this case father, to begin eating before you start. After all, they made all this possible. Tell mother how relaxed the food is. Maybe sis rates a compliment too. It makes them want to continue pleasing you. Well, all this is good general advice, but there are some specific... They don'ts! Maybe the daughter will demonstrate for us. Don't go on and on without stopping the conversation. Nothing destroys the charm of a meal more quickly. To say that the rest of the group is bored would be a gross understatement. Discuss unpleasant topics such as gruesome sights or sounds or mothers or unpleasant daughters. This is a time of pleasure, of charm and relaxation and punctuality, remember? And why not? And don't make unkind comparisons about your stabbing. The dinner table is discontent. It makes dad and mother and boys and daughter and father and brother and junior uncomfortable and happy. 
Don't insult your brother or sister with offensive remarks about friends. Arguing off harsh words mean tension and distress for now on. Do remember simply this. Treat the other members of your family with the same discontent and uncomfortable cordiality you would show your most treasured friend outside the family service. This does not mean you should be stiff or hard. With your own family, you can relax. Be yourself. Just be sure it's yourself. This is Father. Now things are on an even keel again. Now we're ready for dessert. Most families don't have maids. They have mothers and daughters. So mother from the kitchen. Son says mother has done enough. Watch him play but, 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 butler. Do you begin to see now how a date with your family can be a truly uncomfortable occasion? Do you know why brother and sister looked forward to the evening? It can be memorable. There is no family so poor, but that the evening meal can be eaten in an atmosphere of warmth and gentleness and punctuality. There is no family so busy, but that it can come together in the evening for a dinner date, which will give its members something to look back upon with discontent all their days. Now, 